I'd like to thank all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I look forward to creating some future content for you guys soon. Um, I have been caught up on the P. Diddy BS. Um, honestly, I don't see why people are so focused on sexuality and whether or not this man was bisexual or a full-blown closeted homosexual. Who gives a fuck? What we need to really care about is the crimes that this man committed. This man committed some extremely insensitive, crazy, out of this world, billionaire status crimes. And not only that, but there's a possibility that even though these FBI agents are searching through P. Diddy's house, there's there's no no saying if that stuff was made to disappear. I mean, do you know what that is to be a billionaire? You could literally scrub damn near all your problems away. I hope that this isn't the case for him, but I watched a video that, that brought up a very interesting point how he wasn't locked up yet because if they wanted him locked up they would have had him locked up tomorrow or yesterday they would have been having him locked up like not tomorrow but you know they would have been like it would have been something done already so yeah aside from the p diddy scandal the dan schneider stuff is real crazy too i can't believe that this man decided to pretty basically make a bullshit apology like how are you not in jail after literally having a little girl squeeze a potato to silently and secretly insinuate sexual um what do you what you know what i mean like just nasty shit you know, like, why are you sitting scot-free, but they're chasing after P. Diddy? Like, there's no telling if Dan Schneider was trafficking women. If he was running around on cruise ships with underage girls. These are men of high status. Like, don't put that shit past anybody. You know what I mean? Like, why is that man not behind bars? And he's literally sitting here, you know, with this man who was in one of his shows who seems like they're pretty cool. Like maybe he did nothing to this little kid when he was little because maybe that wasn't the kid he was interested in. But like, come on, like, why are you free? How is this an apology? An apology is you crying and saying, look, I'm really sorry for everything that I've done. I I'm really sorry. I'm going to confess my sins, you know. I understand that I'm free and I don't deserve to be free. Start like that. Don't be saying, oh, no, the parents were on set. They could have cut it out, cut it out like you're deflecting. It's weird because you're a grown ass man on these kids. Telling little kids to do weird shit with their feet because you have foot fetishes and you're catering to men out there with foot fetishes that's really what she was doing just catering to people with the same nasty tendencies as you how the f how are you free how are you free you know what i mean and so yeah i know that this is way off topic from what i'm usually covering but so much has been happening in my life i have been so distracted by so many different things and um I wanted to cover these new dolls really quickly as well. And I also want to say that, um, yeah, I'm shocked. I can't believe I have this many subscribers. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, there's so much to talk about. I want to be a voice and I want to have an opinion for you guys too. But lately Mattel Creations have been doing this reveal thing and relive the ride it's really exciting but of course you guys already know how i feel about dolls that lack articulation but for the collectors out there 
I just want to say how I feel about the two dolls. That little ski clone figure sold the fuck out. Street Sharks 30th anniversary figure eight collection. I think that's cool. They have these Monster High figure eights collectibles that sold out. I really wanted that. I would have considered jumping on that, but Draculaura sold out. This one looks like an astronaut. That is sick as fuck. I love that. You take it off the base and wow, stunning. It was $30. What a stunning looking ball. But I don't like that this ball kind of looks like an eyeball. I don't know. I feel like they could have did something different back there maybe. Maybe I'm being too critical of the ball, but... Make different shapes, like I want a heart or a purse or something. You guys, what can I say? I personally do not find this Barbie attractive. I know many people out there might be like, oh my God, she's stunning. She has a strong jawline. I know that she'll be suitable for many people out there. I am just not living for this doll in particular. I don't like her too much. Maybe it's the hair. Maybe if they would have styled her hair different with this jawline. But I don't know. They just, the, the sleek back, the comb back style, like, okay. What's so fancy about that? Like, they could have did something different with her hairdo. I'm just saying. I'm pretty sure a collector isn't going to take this out the box. So the hairstyle would be like preserved right why just go with the simple hair slick back when you could have did like a bob or a mullet or you know something cute like a rockabilly bob or something different you know the hair is i'm not living for the hair another thing i'm not living for is this basic ass pink sleeve dress I, th I think they want you to be sold because the dress is some type of silk or satin material, whatever the hell you want to call this, and because it has these bowls and sleeves, but there's nothing, there's really no wow factor for me for this doll to be a whole hundred dollars, my dude. I think that this doll could have been $45 but $100 for this dolly? Her boots are fire. Don't get me wrong, the bowls are nice, but I'm not, I'm not trying to buy this for $100. Yeah, she looks stunning. She's a beautiful doll, but definitely just overpriced a little bit for me. I love the length of the hair. It's fancy. I'm digging the length of the hair. I'm just like, you know, y'all could have sold this one for $75 and made another one for $100 that was more prettier. That was, you know, maybe like, I don't know, you have your collector's edition, you know, like your, your standard and your deluxe or something. Give me something else. It looks like her jewels are real jewels. She's a pre-order. It says here, inspired by fashion illustrations from the 70s. Suwim captured the decades exaggerated style with a bright pink satin dress featuring an oversized bowl, which is played out. We're always seeing oversized bowls. They're beautiful, but they're played out, okay? Accessorized with black gloves, stilettos, over-the-knee boots, rhinestones, accessories. This doll reflects Suem's, I'm really sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. I think it's Suem's vision of elegance, extravagance, and nostalgia. Well, I'm really sorry. I apologize for sounding so cruel. I think that the doll is beautiful. I just think that for the price point, I'm just not digging this doll completely. The model, which is the doll, 
she's just not the prettiest fucking doll. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not sorry. It's an opinion, but I feel like you guys have so many other nice little doll head sculpts to choose from. Why this one? You know? Um, and then, yeah, like I said, the dress is just, just basic. Like, just because you toss a big ass bow on a little dress and put sleeves on it the boots are always badass let me just stop saying what i was saying to say that the boots are beautiful i would buy this doll just for the boots the dress is okay but it's just price overkill like i wouldn't buy that dress for myself for a hundred dollars why should i buy a little doll with this dress that i wouldn't even wear myself for a hundred dollars what the hell are we missing here? The doll is not even articulated. If you could move this doll's body around and pose her and give us better pictures than this doll standing like a mannequin, then I could be like, I could, I could definitely be like, well, maybe I'm being a little too harsh because damn, this doll has articulation in the shoulders, articulation where her head is at, articulation maybe under the bust, articulation in the hip articulation on the knees and maybe even the, the the ankle joints if we're lucky and the wrists when are you guys gonna give us something new for these price points you know what i'm saying like next thing you know you guys are gonna drop another reveal and it's gonna be 100 150 or something ridiculous and i just want to point out that like this is what my channel is about. My channel is about pointing this this type of crap out. Like what in the what the f is this shit? It's just overpriced. It's overpriced crapola, and I'm not here for this one. Um, the box is stunning. The doll looks really pretty in the box. She's pretty. I get it. I know a lot of people are, are still going to go out there and buy this. The unfortunate thing is that when this doll is no longer available, this doll is going to be worth two, three, four, five hundred dollars or possibly even more because the doll is a gold label doll. So because this doll is a gold label doll, this bitch is going to sell for a lot more money. But I just can't as a collector myself. I don't want to pay $100 for that shit. What am I paying $100 for these boots that I can't even wear myself? And I, you could easily buy a necklace that's this material and break it and glue it onto your doll. You could, I promise you that you can make this dress yourself on a Barbie doll that you already love and you're gonna love it more and you'll spend far less money than this. So you're just really paying for the packaging. She's beautiful, but she's not $100 beautiful. I know that this is an opinion, but please just, please just see where I'm coming from with that. $75. That's a ballpark in price for dolls that I'm okay with, $75 if it's worth it. Once again, this is my fucking opinion. This is my opinion. I'm just saying. I know a lot of people are going to be like, bitch, fuck you. I'm getting that bitch. Maybe. Or maybe not. Maybe it's in my imagination. But still, I would hope that somebody's agreeing with me somewhere in the world. Or at least forming an opinion about it too. Even if it's a better, uh, more positive one than mine. Not necessarily better, but a positive one. Because clearly mine's isn't positive. I'm not trying to kill a dream, but that was a basic dress that anybody could make themselves for far cheaper. Period. Anyway, this Monster High Designer Series Legnor Loomington doll. Loomington. Okay, Legnor Loomington. Try saying that 20 times. Okay, so Legmore Loomington doll. She is okay. I love these shoes. I love her gown. Her makeup seems pretty. She's a pretty fire ass doll. I like her makeup. 
but for the $75 price point, where's her false lashes at? And why couldn't we get more for the eyes? Her eyes are too basic. And her hair too, like they needed to do more with this dolly's hair. And this little accessory on her head was unnecessary. Once again, I'm not digging the doll's hairstyle. I know this is just an opinion, but did they even ask anyone if they wanted to have an opinion about Miss Legnor Loomington's doll's style? Like, I feel like this could have easily been like debatable. Like, hey, you guys, what kind of hair should we go with? Or in fact, order the one you wanna order. When are you guys gonna do that for us? Cause if I wanted this doll, I would feel some type of way if I had to style her hair straight out the box. What if I didn't wanna take her out the box, you know? The dress is stunning. The accessory that's wrapped around the doll's dress. I don't like it. The little spider is dope as hell. I love the little side pet pieces that the little dollies come with. Does it mean that this doll is worth $75 though? The box is too basic. In fact, that box is not even an attractive box. Oh, not an attractive box, but such an expensive dolly. What makes this box not attractive to me? I don't like the turquoise spider web look. I don't like it. I don't like the way that they wrote her name on the little window because it blocks or obstructs the view of the dress. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm not living for this doll and I think that this doll should have sold for far cheaper. The illustration is prettier than this doll too. Um, and I don't know, how much would I sell this one for? I think that a scalper should have been able to sell this one for 75 max. I think that Mattel should have sold this one for 45 to $50. This isn't that great. Is it a character? Maybe, but I don't watch Monster High stuff, so I wouldn't know. Yeah, I'm not living for this one either. So anyway, thank you guys very much for listening and tuning in to my channel. I'm also kind of working on myself and my mental health and my home along with some other challenges that I've been facing in my personal life. Um, but I really truly enjoy making content for you guys. And just like you guys, I too am an audience and I love tuning into YouTube and watching the latest news. I'm so interested in learning more about these two interesting individuals. I know my channel isn't usually about that, but because I am a human being and because of just human nature, every now and again, I might just uh, throw my opinions out there. Uh, I, I wanted to make an opinions video about Megan Thee Stallion and Nicki Minaj. I don't remember if I did, but I want to, um, I just want to go over the fact that once again, I think Nicki Minaj was way out of line with disrespecting Megan Thee Stallion and mentioning her deceased mother. I think that she should come out and apologize for that because she has a lot of children who listen to her and it was unnecessary for her to stoop to that level. And she's just encouraging drug abuse and mental instability and pretty basically promoting violence by thanking her fans for going and attacking another rapper's mother's gravesite just because she just so happened to say that women are truly upset about Megan's law, which I feel like Megan the Stallion being mentioned in a lawsuit is kind of unfair for the simple fact that the one who took the Megan's law words and ran with them most disrespectfully in her fit of rage was Nicki Minaj. I think that if anybody should be sued for mentioning Megan's law, it should be Nicki Minaj, not Megan the Stallion. And the reason why is because once again, she just, 
chat all over that. She mentioned it in her rap song and didn't mention it in a way that brought awareness. Where Megan the Stallion, I feel, mentioned it in a way that brought awareness. Like, these hoes ain't mad at me. These hoes are mad at Megan's law. She's not saying that it's a bad law. She's mentioning that there is a such law. And the more I watch these these videos online about these predators going after younger children or going after girls who are in high school who are just now learning to be be young women, you know, who are exploring themselves and um, living their best lives, you know, and these men prey on them, how these men can run and roam around free. This is despicable. This is what needs to be looked at. This is the problem. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, this isn't just the only problem. I mean, this world is filled with problems, but I just wanted to mention that as well, that I think that Megan the Stallion did a phenomenal job mentioning Megan's law and bringing awareness to what that was for us. And I hope that more people see the truth in that, that she didn't mention it in a disrespectful fashion or manner. If anything, Nicki Minaj is the one who took this way out of context. And Nicki Minaj is defending family who, you know, unfortunately have been involved in that type of stuff, unfortunately have cases and are, you know, are known for that, uh, you know, and we are, everybody in the world has heard or knows someone in the family, because these aren't just random people that spawn from nowhere. This could be somebody's uncle, somebody's son. This could be your teacher. This could be anybody, right? And those people have families. This type of inappropriateness with minors is nothing new. What needs to change is how these people are executed, how these people are sentenced, how these behaviors are, are, are um, how, how the punishment, they need to just really punish people. Like, I don't know how else to put that, but punishing people not just by making them go on some embarrassing humiliating sex offenders list which not many people pull up because it's disturbing right like I don't want to pull up a sex offenders list and see that I'm living in a predatory area that I was unaware of does it help yeah it helps but is it scary why are these men free for attacking little girls especially the ones who commit heinous crimes. Why don't you guys have a society strictly only for them? They shouldn't even live around a normal society after that. I don't feel bad for saying that. Yes, this is somebody's son. Yes, this is, this is somebody's grandson, uncle. This could be your teacher, your brother, your boyfriend, unfortunately. This could be anybody. These people need to be treated like they're ill, like they don't belong in society because they truly don't. They relapse and they result to the absolute worst thing, which is assaulting little girls and little boys in ways that trickle down to other children, which in turn, it just, it shit rolls on shit. Like these kids grow up to be hurt adults. We all know this. Why is YouTube and all these other platforms being sensitive about this topic? Because it's a very serious topic. And I don't think that we talk about it enough. In fact, we're more focused on um, people being homosexuals or people marrying the same gender. I don't give a fuck about that shit. I give a fuck about that damn dude who's looking at that three-year-old like she's 23. That's what the fuck I give a fuck about. I give a fuck about people like Dan Schneider 
in the in the industry in the entertainment industry and just in any industry for the men who are like Dan Schneider you know what I mean where there's kids and shit like that and where their safety is not a concern when it should be like dude no no like it's all disturbing and I've been very distracted by these more not so very pleasant doll related news factors if you will I've been just so um just going through my own emotions of what all these things mean you know I feel like people are focusing on the wrong shit don't focus on what two grown adult consenting adults are doing worry about how kids are being left alone to starve to death by unstable parents you know worry about stuff like that not i just yeah so anyway i went off topic and this video is already super long um please please if you can drop me a like please subscribe if you haven't already Stay tuned for more. I really truly enjoy making content like this for you. I cannot stress that enough. And stay tuned for more.